Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to export any web page to PDF in Python. Alright, so before we get started, you will need to download an open source command line tool. And the tool is called WK HTML to PDF. It's an open source software and it's really popular among developers and software engineers. You will need to go to uh, this URL and I'll post the link in the description below. So you want to go to uh, this URL, wkhtml2pdf.org slash downloads.html. Then you want to download the uh, exe file based on your operation system. If you are using Mac OS, then you will need to download the uh, Mac OS version. I think they only have 64 bits available. In fact, using Windows, you can either download the zip file or the uh, executable file. And for me, since I'm using Windows, so I download the 64 bits installer file. And once you download the file, this is what the uh, file looks like. So you want to double click and to uh, launch the setup process. And I'm going to click on agree. And here you can choose the folder where you want to save the uh, files. And I already saved the files under my software uh, wkhtml to pdf folder. And this is what the uh, file looks like or folders. So once you, uh, once you extract all the files, this is what everything looks like uh, in your folder. Then you want to go to the uh, bin folder. And here you're going to see two uh, command line tool uh, software. One is to export a uh, web page to PDF. The other one is to export a uh, web page to uh, image file. So this one is to PDF and this one is to image. And I'm going to leave uh, this folder open because I'll go back to reference the file path. And once you have all the required files uh, downloaded, now we can write the Python script. All right, so I'll use uh, Wikipedia page for uh, this exercise. Here, let me go back to my uh, Python script. Before we can use the uh, open source uh, software, we need to install a Python library called PDF Kits. So I want to use a command, uh, oops, pip install PDF Kits. And this is the library you will need to uh, perform the web page uh, to PDF uh, conversion. Here I'm going to create a variable called path wk html to PDF. And it's going to be the path to the uh, command line tool. And I'm going to grab the file path to this uh, wk html to PDF.exe file. And next, we need to create a configure uh, object. So from PDF kits library, we need to uh, tell us the library where uh, this open source command line tool is located. Here, let me go back. So I'll use the, so I'll insert the method configuration. And I'll provide the, uh, the open line source file path. Now I can convert any web page to PDF. And to do that, it's really easy. So you'll insert the library PDF kits and this method called from URL. And this method takes three parameters. The first parameter is the uh, URL. So assuming that I want to convert this uh, Wikipedia page to PDF. So I'll grab the URL. The next parameter is the file name. I want to export the file to, let's see. So let me go back to my folder should be this one here let me create a new uh, folder i'm going to name this folder exports and i'll export the wikipedia page to export folder and follow back here let me convert that to raw stream and i'll name this pdf file test1.pdf and the last parameter is configuration so insert the configuration parameter uh, name. Then I'll provide the config uh, object. And that's everything we need to write. So just four lines of code to perform this task. Now if I run the script, oops, here I forgot to activate my environment. All right, so if I run the script again, and this time getting a different error. Configuration takes zero positional arguments, but one's given. 
I think this method wants the parameter name. Here, let me use uh, SK. Let me insert the parameter name. WK HTML to PDF. Right, let me try again. Okay, so I guess because I can uh, convert a web page to either image or PDF uh, based on the command line tool use, so we need to uh, specify the command line tool that we are going to assign to the configuration uh, method. Now, if I go back to my folder, exports folder, and here's the test1.pdf file. Now, let me open the PDF file. And here's what the PDF looks like. All right, so this is everything I want to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found the video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.